Today we will be covering Tanium's IT Asset Management Integration for ServiceNow and how we can help you accelerate your implementation and complement your investment with ServiceNow around hardware, software, and virtual asset visibility, inventory, management of this inventory, configuration management at scale, and of course, uh, helping you get to a really good version of the CMDB. When you think about an accurate CMDB, how it's vital to making informed IT decisions, the CMDB actually provides crucial information about your digital services and infrastructure that supports them. It enables your key operational processes, helping you predict, prevent, and resolve service outages while minimizing the risk of changes and also responding to end user queries very quickly, resulting to a better experience for end-to-end -end, end users as well. At the heart of the CMDB is the data. Organizations need to be able to not only report on what they have, but also be able to make decisions off that data in terms of hardware and software life cycles. When we think about the procurement teams, procurement teams needs to understand what hardware and software is actually being purchased. Contract teams need to understand and have the ability to reconcile things like software licenses and understand how to reduce unnecessary spend by performance analytics over a specific period of time. When you think about the security teams, they need to be able to know what they have in the environment in terms of devices, but also be able to understand the current state so they can prioritize hardening those systems in the environment. When I speak with customers every week, we look at these challenges and every single customer has one or more of these challenges currently. They have CMDBs weighted down with out of the date, out of date and conflicting information about their assets, uh, all the way to multiple sources feeding their CMDB, causing uh, discrepancies and conflicts within the CMDB. The CMDB needs to be the system of uh, record for the entire organization. While most IT teams don't really trust their data and their CMDB today, uh, we need to be able to provide that level of trust for our teams. With multiple sources updating that same data set on different intervals and a bunch of you know different types of network constraints that you might run into with larger data sets overall, you create a situation where we are prone to errors. We are uh, limited in the accuracy and the completeness of uh, that data, impacting things like IT business decisions. And then in an inaccurate CMDB is also gonna have compounding effects across IT and business as a whole impacting things like efficiency, cost, security, and governance. Tanium's um, IT uh, asset management integration for ServiceNow can eliminate many of these challenges for providing a complete, accurate, more up-to-date view on your organization's hardware, software, and virtual asset inventory in the CMDB. And then lastly, ensuring your CMDB is always populated with the latest and most accurate data throughout the day. What we're seeing here on this dashboard is Tanium's ability to seamlessly integrate into ServiceNow to bring in the detailed hardware and software information easily displayed for the right people to make decisions. When assets are discovered and managed by Tanium, we automatically map all hardware and software attributes to the expected class structure inside of the CMDB. This structure is very important for anyone who is managing the CMDB or leveraging the data in the CMDB. Often we see a lot of customers who are unable to utilize their data to support class structure hierarchy and workflows that are built off of this class structure in the ServiceNow platform. Our integration provides this data structure out of the box within our platform. And when you think about um, the inventory broken down based on the type of device. So when we look at this dashboard, there are personal computers, there are Linux computers, there's computers and Windows servers, AIX, et cetera. These are different classifications of hardware that Tanium can bring in, including remote or off-network devices, such as Macs and Windows laptops. This is a very powerful complement to the existing ServiceNow discovery solution, essentially extending the quality of the data beyond the data center to all end-user computing devices as well. Um, when we go and take a look at the type of components that are sent with our data set, we also look at a detailed breakdown of hardware information um, a, a, like an example for network adapters, you're giving the ability to be able to monitor regularly on the type of bandwidth usage that these network adapters are consuming. Um, there are other use cases around virtual or physical network adapters, and these use cases can directly impact the IT operations team to be able to predict or understand 
where there may be issues having issues for our customers, internal or external. Um, when we scroll up a little bit around file systems, so look, look at the asset lifecycle. When hardware usage is um, is taken into consideration, we understand that organizations have critical data points that they need to have visibility on. For example, you may run into issues with servers that are not performing correctly or workstations that cannot be patched due to disk space shortages. Here we can see a percentage of our uh, CIs that are endpoints that we've in, 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 ingested into ServiceNow that currently have zero disk space. And when you see data like this, it gives you an immediate view into the devices that might be due for an upgrade or replacement or it create incidents off this data so you can prioritize them to be um, to be looked at first from your service desk or IT operations side to resolve these issues before they become problems. So with the ease of deployment, all the data that we're feeding into ServiceNow, whether it's about servers or end-user computer devices, uh, file systems, and network adapters, it is automatically stored inside of the classes within the CMDB. No special configuration is required to get to this, this level of detail. So as uh, previously mentioned, when we uh, think about uh, what Tanium is collecting and uh, feeding into your CMDB, uh, it's not about just hardware um, in, in terms of actual class structure and data points. It's also about the software that's installed on those devices as well. We can see a breakdown of all the software titles here in, in, in this graph view where all of the utilization of that software, all of the installation records such as um, uh, attributes such as vendor and publisher, um, you know, the highest use of that software based on uh, its most recent usage, but also the current install software count would be a good way for procurement and contract teams to be able to predict uh, or, or understand what's out there versus what's supposed to be out there. Um, now, these are use cases that drive software asset management to the next level where, you know, high, high visibility into real-time data about your software count and usage of that software now enables um, the uh, contract and procurement teams to be proactive and understand where spend, spend is being done and understand how to reduce that spend overall. And then from compliance and risk point of view, we can also understand how we can impact things around the enterprise risk management side where we need to be compliant with approved lists of software that's installed versus what, what is being uh, scanned and found through Tanium's integration. And with seamless integration with ServiceNow's uh, SAM Pro module, you can leverage the same data in digital workflows and analytics to automate IT processes, free up software licenses, and again, mitigate non-compliant uh, software risks that might be at, at, at hand when we find out in the initial sync to Tanium and ServiceNow. So, Overall, understanding the hardware and software inventory in your environment and how it's being used is a foundational, uh, it's foundational for your organization. Uh, it's, it's foundational in the sense that it is being able to, you're, you're able to prepare for audits, you're able to reduce costs, consolidate tools, respond to incidents and change requests, detect risks from vulnerabilities and configuration uh, drift failures. And this is where we see today with our customers who are leveraging our ITAM integration, we're able to provide 100% accurate visibility into every hardware and software asset across all of your network without requiring remote connections or VPN. And this real-time data and high fidelity data that Tanium sends into ServiceNow can significantly accelerate your audit and compliance processes and reduce costs while supporting strategic risk use cases as well. We look forward to taking you through a deeper dive of our iTime integration and demonstrating how this can immediately provide visibility into your endpoints and get the most value and maximize your investment for your ServiceNow implementation. Thank you very much.